Hello, my good people of Yafra land, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind. I brought to you all uh, this Monday morning broadcast again, coming from Okute Daily Talk, where truth is the business of the day, where we speak to you the undiluted truth about things of life, about Biafra's struggle, about the enemies of Biafrans, and about those who have vowed to hold Biafra in captive for uh, so long. Without not taking much of your time, please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I want you to do that ASAP. And if you are not like any of my content, come, uh, any of my content, please, endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Share my content and also comment. Your comment is highly needed. Just drop your opinion, your what you think about any of my videos in the comment section below. And I will attend to it at the appropriate time. Please, start in your seatbelt and listen attentively for we are about to take off in now. ESN camps are safe and sacred. There is no records of military invasion. Alleged invaded camps in Amagu or Hafia belongs to criminals, not ESN. I pop. So let us proceed with the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra. I pop under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazinam De Kano, which is to debunk the concocted and the state sponsored media blackmail by Nigerian military claims that they invaded ESN camp in Ohio, Biafra land. It is all fallacy, it is all lie, and it is never true. All these, they are cheap blackmail, which they are doing in one way or the other. I mean, Nigeria, how can you people descend so low? Eh? Bugari and the rest of them, you people have been doing everything humanly possible to tarnish the image of Biafrans, just to make sure that you, you send the imagined name, the kind of prison, which is not going to work. Instead, the, in, the, the international community and Nigeria will break into two if such a thing ever happened in this life. We have said it before. Now that ESN operatives do not have any camp in Amangu or have a local government area, all the criminal camps that Nigeria Army have claimed to have invaded are not ESN camps. ESN camps are secured and secret territories. ESN don't indulge in kidnapping and collecting of ransom from innocent citizens who eventually lead military to those camps. The Nigerian Compromise Security Agencies, particularly the military, police and DSS agents, must stop their continued blackmail and the demonization of IPOP and ESN operatives for wanting Biafra independence. The world and even the Nigerian government know that we are innocent in all their secret, in all their allegations. Nigerian media should do investigate journalism and not allow government and their security agents to use and influence them against IPOP. Our only crime against the Nigerian state is our quest and desire to be free from a nation that hates our people. They, they, you hate people, you can't give them good governance, you can't even give them any good infrastructure, you can't even uh, liberate them from everything they are passing through, yet you refuse them to go, which is absolutely and arrant nonsense. No one does that and no one will ever accept that, not now and not ever. So you people can continue the hate. Why we continue the progress? Because among you hating the, the Igbos or the Biafrans or the Ipos, you keep on wallowing in poverty. Why we keep on shining and uh, raising our heads above you that is even holding the powers in government that have invested all the whole life in this, all the whole uh, kind of things in this life. But at the end, you are still remain where you are. That is absolutely rubbish. ESN has no business or hand in the kidnapping of army officer in Ebem or Hafia. For Nigerian army to claim that they raided the hideouts of indigenous people of Biafra or Eastern Security Network in Amangu Community Abia State in attempt to rescue an abducted soldier, Staff Sergeant Basi uh, Ikenungwan is false. If there is any such camp in Amangu Community in Hafia, it is not ESN camp and those armed gangs at the camp are not working for ESN, neither are they IPOP members. It is a calculated attempt by the Nigerian state to blackmail IPOP anytime they invade any criminal hideout. The, this type of blackmail is no longer holding waters. It simply doesn't work anymore. We advise Nigerian government and its security agencies to change to another blackmailing format. This one has failed and the formats have done cars for, for a very long time. Yes, blackmailing IPOP before the international community or making a imagine them the kind to look like a demonic or look like a, ter a terrorist or whatever you may you may call it is not going to work and it's not be working again that is a failed 
uh, uh, art. Because you cannot tell me you want to stop people from what they are doing yet. You don't want to take the right approach. Which is the right approach? Call these people, sit them down, negotiate with them. If you can negotiate with bandits, if you can free Boko Haram uh, uh, terrorists and the bandits that are terrorizing the, the, the country, that have made our wives, our mothers, and our, our parents, our aged parents, they used not to go to farm. That is why Nigeria is in hunger. And you can sit them down and call them repentant Boko Harams. Then what stops you from calling Sunday Boho, calling Mazen Nam the Kano, and the rest of agitators, even uh, the, the Cross River uh, is also agitating for their own uh, state. Because they are the, 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 they are part of the, the section of the, this country that is producing uh, the oils that Nigeria is using to boast an international level. Yet, if you went those places, you find out that poverty is in a high rate. You find out that no anything like infrastructure, no any modern uh, buildings or whatever. You can only find out any good modern buildings in the capital city. And the capital city does not produce oil. You can only find oil in the rural areas. And those rural areas is very, very, I mean, it's a very stinky environment you can ever imagine to live in or to accept something from anybody from there. But Nigerians keep on making them dry. A place where you will go, you will, you will barely find a good farmland, even their fish, even the good water they drink, even water, there's no any good water there. They manage whatever they see. And still yet, Nigerians still treating them like they are animals. Using their resources they get from their land to develop other land and to even develop other countries. Because Nigeria is building, have built a railway from uh, uh, Kanu, Abi Kaduna there, to Maradi in Niger. The money they get it from the oil from the Niger Delta, from the south south, and also from the southeast. They bought ten SUVs to Niger. What for? And we don't know. The money came from the south south and from the southeast. But all these places we are talking about, there's no any good infrastructure. The only thing that the Buhari administration can count on that they did for the southeast that get the, the highest gas in the whole of uh, Nigeria. All, uh, all in the whole of Africa said, God, I mean, natural gas. It's only the completion of the second Niger Bridge, which they have started over 16 years ago by PDP government. And still yet, these people have told you that we are tired of all this, we want to go. You refused. Instead of you to negotiate or talk with them, or at least have a further talk with your children as the head of the state, no, you choose to kill them one after the other so that you will bring the foreigners to come and occupy their land, which you know that it can never happen, not in this life and not ever. Not even sort of sure to happen. Remember the body will go six feet before any other person in the Biafra land. Let them continue what they are doing. But for now, we don't want any seat in the government. What, are, what we are fighting for and what we are requesting for is the independence of Biafra. Yes. Buhari is using the, the, the resource they are getting from the Biafra land to further his uh, medical education in the UK and other parts of the, 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 the international world. Then when you are from the seat, let me see where you will get the money again to further, further your, your medical uh, uh, bills and the rest of them that you are living on. Because you barely live on, live on small uh, 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 underage uh, blood. That is why every day you keep looking fresh, even at your old age. But wait, the time of reckoning is coming and you will receive your coin or your payment at your own coin. It is calculated attempt by the Nigeria to blackmail IPOP anytime they invade any criminal hideout. IPOP and our ESN operatives are disciplined, gallant men and women who protect our land and do not engage in any criminality or kidnapping or snatching of cars. If you must know this, hear the truth now. IPOP are not known for criminality. Neither are we known for kidnapping. Neither are we known for collecting ransom from anybody. IPOP represents love, unity, peace, fairness, equity, and justice. In, the, in any level of the government, that is what IPOP represents. We love one another and we maintain peace and law and order. So anyone attaching IPOP or anyone that, anything that concerns IPOP to do, do with killings, kidnapping, mamming, raping, please, that is not IPOP. That, that one may be a, a proclaimed IPOP, which is, set, which is set up by the Federal or Zoological Republic of Nigeria. Or that mistake of a nation called Nigeria. That is what they are good in doing. Blackmailing the IPOPs 
in anything they do, in anywhere they find themselves. But not minding that very soon that the alarm will blow because the eye that is crying, I can also see. So my good people of Biafra, we have a lot of news on my hand here, so let us not waste much time in Toko Toko. Let us go straight into another news. I am not your mate, David Hunde. Femi, I be Femi, Fane Kayode, over to Lumbo's drug link document. You see how you make yourself. Uh, even your own son, even somebody who is old enough to be your grandson is challenging you. Because you people have, because of your nonsense and stomach infrastructure, defending what is, you know, what you know exactly is evil. What you know exactly is not true. Now we are, we are, one, we are warning the small boy that he's not, uh, you are not his mate. If you are not his mate, then quit all this nonsense, lie that you people tell on the internet just simply because you want to uh, sell a, a failed and expired product to Nigerians. And they t the Nigerians told you that they don't want. Imagine the rally that happened in Imo State, whereby the people that they, they paid 55000 to come and occupy the hall, at a point, they don't receive their bill, <laughs> the, the, the money they promised them. And they decide to, to decamp and leave the hall. Only for hope of them to tell the security operator that they should lock the door. <laughs> Nigeria, let me see. You are a joke. They keep making the announcement. Please sit down. Please sit down. The, 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 the concert or whatever they call it, the, the program is not yet over. Please sit down. Uh, security, please mount the gate properly. Mount the gate properly for people who, if they really attend that thing with their mind. So when they are going, you also stop them not to go. Who does that? For you to know that these people are going extra mind to make sure that people think that oh people love apc nobody love apc and nobody want them back even uh, a pregnant woman the child inside his stomach has sworn not to vote for apc and you are doing everything possible to make sure that people believe that your people are coming back to do what are you coming back to do uh, if uh, tulumbu is really the, the the messiah or really uh, the hope which he said he is yeah or he was then why can't he at least give for at least for okay, let's say let's say you hide all the whole plans because you want to become the president. Then one year to go to your predecessor, somebody who is going to hand over to you. You give him at least the idea who can how to, to tackle this economy, look at how to tackle the inflation, look at how to tackle the insecurity. If you can defeat the, the, the insecurity by 50%, economy at least you raise it to by 50%, not at the dungeon where uh, the economy is at the moment. And uh, what, what what is it called again? The inflation. You will bring it down at least even if to fifteen percent. It is not. I think it is not uh, the end. And other uh, aspects. Uh -huh. Then we will know at least. Yeah, you have something in mind, and you can use it to campaign that the 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 board administration have been over seven years suffering. That you gave him only uh, uh, an idea for the remaining one year, and look at how it turned up. People will vote for you. But you have all these ideas of doing all these things. Yet the product, expired product, you sold to Nigerians have already turned Nigeria into a dungeon. Nigeria have become worse. Nigeria have been backwards over 60 years back of what Nigeria used to be before. And you are here. Femi Fami, can you tell what do you call your name? You better just retire and go back to your home. I know you are a hungry minister. But you will to continue all this your nonsense. Former aviation minister and member of all progressive uh, Congress, APC Presidential Campaign Council, uh, Femi Fami, can you tell a Nigerian born writer and investigative uh, journalist, David Hendayan, have engaged themselves in a war fight over Bola uh, Tunumbu's alleged white heroin drug dealing business. Hendayan fired at the former minister via Twitter on Saturday night, saying unapologetically that they are, um, they are, they are not mess. Okute News understand that Hendayan took to the micro uh, blogging platform to call FFK completed names after the F APC Chief Ten in his latest article lampooned the former former for his content, uh, consistent publications and revelations about the 2023 presidential candidate of the APC. He knew it was true, and that is why you are warning him. Uh, you think uh, this one is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, what do they call it? It's a Nigeria broadcast that went to interview you, and you are shouting on them. You even nearly slapped them. Uh -huh. If you have the right and you feel you have power, you feel you, yeah, that the tentacles behind your, uh, uh, under your, your ties are working well. Travel to the UK where the guy is. Go there and meet him and uh, slap him. Or uh, got him arrested because he was telling the truth. Nonsense set of people who feel that they own this country. Who feel that no one will ever talk to them. 
a document released by the U.S. District Court for the Northern uh, District of Illinois, which made uh, the rounds last week, alleged that Tunumbu was involved in a drug dealings and settlement case, which led to the APC presidential candidate for fitting four hundred and sixty thousand U.S. dollars to the U.S. government. However, Fenikayode, uh, Fenikayode, in his latest publication, disclosed that. $460,000 was seized only as consequences of IRS claiming and asserting that he, Tunumbu, had not paid tax on his mother's American investments. Under what? Under 2400 monthly salary. He's doing investments. I, I greet you, invest, invest, investmentor. Tunumbu chose not to challenge or the, uh, dispute that claim and assertion by the IRS even though he was perfectly within his right to do so, and hence, he William forfeited that money. The seizure of the 460,000 had nothing uh, to do with drugs or links to drug trafficking. Rather, it had everything to do with taxi, tax, and it was the IRS that claimed it. The FBI investigated Tunumbu for links to drugs and laundering drug money, and they found nothing on him. Show us. The investigating evidence. Everything have documents. He came out clean. Most of the money they originally seized were returned. The money that was not returned had nothing to do with drugs. Tunumbu is a clean, wholesome, hardworking, and innocent man, and those making these allegations are simply trying to drill his presidential ambition. They are also filled with hurt and they resent his, his uh, great success in life. FFK maintained that Hendayin knew the truth, which was why he dodged a question he was asked during an interview earlier. The former minister quoted popular news anchor and TV host Rufai Hosseini to have, during an interview, asked the Hendayin to confirm a U.S. report about Tunumbu that was said on, on, uh, on channels TV earlier by FFK. The question, according to Fan, uh, Faneka Yode, read, on Channel TV last night, Femi Faneka Yode said $1 million was uh, returned to Bola Tunumbu by the U.S. authorities after the investigations was completed and only 460000 was seized due to tax that was not paid in his investment. Is this true? According to him, the investigative journalist knew the truth. Hence, he could not refute the assertion and the fact that the FBI returned one million dollars to Tunumbu. You have more out of wedlock, children, and sense. When they went to FFK, responding to FFK's claim and publications, and the young who currently lives abroad took to Twitter on Saturday night and said, I will not respond to the rantings of a 62 year old folk boy who has more out of wedlock children than he has than he has sense oh. home <laughs> yeah, this one he choke you. <laughs> this one blame me <laughs> instead of settling his multiple school fields bills by writing sponsored articles personally attacking someone half his age advise him to buy some condoms instead he will try this one choke me oh. now nah, eh. this guy you know get single respect you see how you flee this old man and for the record my father who was referred Reference was a hundred percent self made man, the same as I am. If you are 62 and your biggest accomplishment in life is that your daddy was a uh, funny power and he sent you to Eton, kindly shut up when I'm talking. I'm not your mate. When they added to the tweet, Femi Faneka, you see how see what you do to yourself? Have you seen how you reduce yourself to nothing? Have you seen how you sold yourself to peanuts simply because of cheap, cheap publicity concerning Tunumbu? I know anyone that is supporting Tunumbu or, uh, or APC will always sound like a mugu. And that is exactly that is what is happening here. You people have nothing to offer and you cannot say anything or do anything other than lies on the internet concerning what you did not know anything about. Tunumbu or whatever his name is being called is uh, is, an, is is dealing on narcotics that is the simple truth anyone that can tell him the truth let them tell him let him resign from where from what he is doing otherwise he will not find it for me he will be disgraced out of uh, the that uh, election ground on the day of the election 
So my great people of Biafra, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind, ones who love what I'm doing, the ones who's always there to listen to me, the ones who always want to hear my voice, because I'm telling you people the gospel truth and nothing but the truth. Please uh, try to be subscribing to this channel. It is very, very important and very, very necessary because without you that know me, without me, that will know you. So let us put hands together to do this and to make sure that this thing is moving to the right direction. Until I come your way again, I still remain your one and only look at the talk from my own corner where we speak to you the undiluted truth about things of life. Please subscribe, like, and share my content and make sure you invite your family and friends so that they may be part of this very broadcast each time you have heard my voice on the media. Have a nice day, have a nice week. And may the Almighty to go care them and bless the words of our hands. And let everything, everything we lay our hands to do in this new week, let it be prosperous. We shall become more than conquerors. And so it be. I mean, signing out.